Hello, good morning to my panel, Inche Yunus and Inche Sharudin. My name is Krishodari, daughter of Ilango, with the metric number of B07171035454. I am from the course of 4BEEI, would like to present on my final year degree project entitled Arduino Based Power Factor Correction. So, uh, in this era of technology development, electrical power is one among the most debated chapter in society. This is often because uh, the increase within the usage of inductive loads will eventually offer a sway on the power factor. The rise in usage of inductive loads in industry will give impact to the power factor value of the system and thus this will uh, decrease the efficiency of the power system. This problem can be eliminated by using power factor controller. So the power factor correction can be done by connecting a sufficient number of static capacitors parallel to the load because it can adjust the power factor as close to unity. So the power factor correction uh, using uh, capacitor banks uh, can reduce the reactive power consumption which will lead in minimization of losses and at the same time uh, increase the electric system's efficiency. Now I will show you uh, three types of circuit which is related to power factor. This is a phase difference of voltage and current for resistive, inductive and capacitive circuit. Uh, the voltage and the current are in phase and the power factor is equal to 1 in resistive circuit. And the voltage and the current would like to rise and fall together during each cycle in the resistive uh, circuit. That is why uh, the power factor is uh, 1 uh, in this circuit. So for inductive circuit, the voltage will lead uh, the current while for the capacitive circuit, the current will lead the voltage. The problem that have become the reason for this creation of power factor correction is the usage of induction motor that tend to decrease the value of the power factor in industries. Uh, the lower power factor that will increase the cost in electricity bills and also the increase in current that can drop the voltage uh, level. So the objective of this uh, project is to improve the current AC power factor output by inserting capacitance parallel to the load. The next is to increase the energy efficiency and reduces electricity cost by maintaining the power factor to nearly a uh, unity that is 1 and also to develop an automatically corrected power factor to establish the design parameters. I have used Arduino Nano and have components uh, such as a power supply, a relay, zero crossing detector, current sensor and also voltage sensor in this circuit. Uh, for the software part, I have used Arduino to create coding for this project and freezing software to build the circuit. Actually, this freezing software circuit is mainly used to check the connection of the electronic components. In this project, the power factor mainly focus on achieving power factor above 0.85 that is set by TNB. So now I will share several part of the coding that I have done for this power factor correction device. Okay, this is the radian that is stated at 57.29577951 uh, means that one radian is equal to 57 degree approximately. This is to create phase difference between the voltage and the current either lagging or leading between them. So the frequency is equal to 50 Hz since malicious standard frequency is 50 Hz and the degree is equal to 360 degree. The float nano is a 1 times 10 power of negative 6. It is to convert the nanosecond into uh, seconds. Okay, uh, the coding float must include uh, in order to get decimal points uh, in the output and also in calculation that will be done uh, by the Arduino. So the next is the part where uh, it is to define the calculation for the power factor. The phase angle between the voltage and the current will be calculated in degree. Uh, this function cos uses radians instead of degrees so that uh, y the angle is divided with 57.2958 uh, which is stated as the radian. So this is the last part of the coding where if there is no any correction that should be done by the capacitor then it will display as capacitor off. 
If the power factor is less than 0.85, then the LCD will display capacitor 1 on, which means only one capacitor will be activated. But if the power factor is below 0.5, then it needs uh, two capacitors to do the power factor correction. As a result, uh, the LCD will display capacitor 2 on if a uh, two capacitor is needed. Um, before I start with the testing, I would like to show closer on how my project Arduino based automatic power function uh, would look like. So, this is uh, my project Arduino based uh, power vector correction. This is how it looks like, and this is the socket. Uh, this socket uh, functions to connect the device that to be tested on this uh, project. So this is the LCD. This LCD uh, will display uh, the value of power, uh, current, voltage, and also power factor. And if there is any uh, power factor correction done, and it will also uh, display the old power factor and also the new power factor. And also uh, not to forget the capacitor that have been on. So uh, there is uh, two plugs are connected in this um, in this project that is the uh, main supply for this uh, device to operate and also adapter uh, this adapter gives an output of uh, 5 volt uh, for this Arduino Nano that is inside the box in this box so overall this is how my project looks like and not to forget uh, this is the reset button this functions to um, reset the system once uh, after one uh, device has been tested then we want to follow with the another uh, device so we must uh, press this reset button so that the overall process will be reset so well this is how my uh, project looks like this uh, project have power factor uh, detection and also correction system this will uh, detect the power factor and uh, if there is any correction needed, it will correct the system. So it also have a relay inside this box as a protective equipment. And the most important thing is that I have installed two capacitors which have the value of 3.5 microfarad each. Uh, this is actually a small number of capacitor and these I have used uh, just for this project. And if we want to use in industries, I would prefer a big value of capacitors. So I have tested using uh, several items but now I want to show the product that have achieved a power factor above 0 0.85 which is nearly 2 unity and also lower than 0 0.85. So uh, this is the uh, one I have tested. When I on the power supply of this device and the Arduino Nano, the LCD will display uh, the value of the power supply and the current is shown a zero because there is no load connected to this device. Once the blender is operating, the value of voltage, current, power and power factor is displayed through this LCD. The power factor of this blender is clearly shown that it is 0 0.98 which is uh, nearly to unity and there is no any correction that, to, that need to be done. So uh, that is why the capacitor is not activated and shown as capacitor equals to zero. Uh, capacitor is off. The next is I am testing uh, with a drill press. Okay, uh, as soon as I on the drill press, the reading is recorded. It can be seen that the uh, power factor is below 0 0.85. So uh, definitely there will be a correction uh, should be done in order to capture the problem of the power factor. Since the power factor is less than 0 0.85, the capacitor will be connected parallel to the load to increase the power factor to unity. From the items that I have tested, three items that is blender, stand fan and hair dryer uh, shows power factor nearly to unity while uh, four other items that is drill, press, grinder, vacuum cleaner and hand drill have power factor uh, lower than 0 0.85. And I have successfully done uh, the correction to reach the unity level. And I also have uh, reached, uh, achieved the objective of this product. Okay, uh, I have also did manual calculation uh, to show you all on uh, the tally it with the automatic correction of power factor.
Okay, in this calculation, I also have shown the capacitor value that need to do the power factor corrections. Um, the limitation of this project uh, is the device that need to be tested using the product should have an amperage value of less than 5 ampere. This is why because uh, if more than 5 ampere then the fuse might blow. Uh, if you want a uh, high you want to use a uh, high level equipment then the value of fuse need to be increased so the capacitor value that is used for the correction has a limited value uh, which is 7 microfarad when are uh, combined and the value displayed in the lcd have some interruptions like blinking and that occurs when there is some high current flow during the corrections uh, by using this Arduino-based uh, power factor correction, we can avoid power factor penalties, uh, reduce the demand charges, uh, reduce the power system losses, increase the load carrying uh, capabilities in existing circuit, and also correct the power factor automatically when it is below uh, 0.85. This device actually uh, small, and uh, this device is actually very small. Well, not to say very small it's quite small and it can easy uh, to carry everywhere okay when we want to test and also it is an environmentally of uh, environmental friendly uh, project so uh, for future i would like to recommend to use an iot system uh, because uh, now iot system spreads widely and it is it is like i'd say uh, this device when have been installed in various location then the gps uh, module is much needed to track the location of the system on the other hand uh, it is important to have a wi-fi module and sd cards installed in this device so that the user can get the plotting of the systems automatically uh, the system uh, the product uh, that having a low power factor from time to time so from this method user can detect and correct all the power factor at the same time before i end my session i would like to show my poster that i have done